What is gaming on, guys? I am Shizwack, and I'm back with another Should I Buy It, where I take a game, break it down, rip it apart, and give you everything you need to know to make a sound decision on that purchase. Let me waste my money so you don't have to. Remember, these aren't quite reviews, but more of an overview and introduction to a title to give you everything you need to know before you buy a game. Today, Victor Vran, a new action RPG. I'm going to say more action than RPG. It's kind of different, this game. You can jump, first of all. You can dodge. There's rolls. You can jump off walls. It's just, it's a very kind of neat mechanic. I'm just going to show you a bit about it today. So I'm going to load right in to my save slot one here. You'll see on the screen I have a level 26 character going. You only play as one character. That is Victor Vran. It's kind of a Helsing, Van Helsing spin-off. Uh, it's got a lot of shit in it that is similar to it. I don't know what they were trying to do with it, but it's very much a spin-off of Van Helsing. So, different game altogether, but it's great. It's fun. It actually surprised the hell out of me. I just kind of picked it up to do this video and ended up loving it. I've been putting a lot of time into it, and it's just great. Well, you see, I have eight hours logged there. Level 26, the max level so far is 50. But enough chat, let's get in to the game. There is online play, I do believe it is four player co-op. There's also a PvP arena. Here we go, I'm gonna show you just a bit of offline play for today, and then you'll kind of get the idea of what any online play would be, as it is in action RPG. Let's rock and roll. All right, here we go, guys. Like I said, I'm level 26, max level is 50. Now, you see how I can spin this camera? I'm running around. I'm not clicking. Why? Because I'm using a fucking gamepad. Listen to me. If you have an Xbox controller hooked up to your computer, play it. This game, I would never have done that. But uh, at first, I, just the way you can roll, you can jump, kind of off surfaces, and it, it was a little clunky with the mouse and keyboard. I, I just found I wasn't reacting fast enough. I don't know, so I, I gave the gamepad a shot, and it ended up working very, very well. I'm, it's a lot of fun with the gamepad. There's a few control options. One is just your standard kind of point and click, uh, more of like any other RPG you've played, action RPG. And then there's a, they call that action mode, where you literally walk around with the W, A, S, and D, jump with the space bar. That was basically the other kind of control options there. So you're going to see here I'm at the central, well, it's the hub, actually. That's exactly what it's called. I've got my stash. I think one of your stored items NPCs do that. talk to you. It's all voiced. Okay, straightforward. We've seen all this. Very familiar. Vendors of all types sell uh, potions and destiny cards, which I will get into in a second. And we might as well just hop right in. I don't want to spoil too much, so I'm going to choose a random level. Here is the world map. So it's actually quite big. Now, each of those glowing spots you see, the pentagrams or whatever the fuck they are, is a different level. And I'm far from unlocking all of them. I don't even know if I'm halfway through. I'd say I'm not. You'll see this map is actually quite enormous. And depending on the difficulty, I'm on normal right now, um, but you can play with hexes. I will get into that in a second. But you, there's lots of replayability here. There's challenges for each map. You see I have four stars here. Some I have five stars. And you basically just, it gives you bonuses, bonus XP, bonus items, little unlocks. It's a lot of fun. So I'm going to jump into just Let's take a level that I haven't played yet. Not all of the levels have to do with the story either. There's just a lot of extra ones that you can go and kind of loot hunt and get experience in. So there's a nice example of some of the goals or challenges on the left hand side. And some of them are tough, some of them not so much, but they all give you bonuses. You'll see on the right hand side, I have hexes. This is actually a beautiful, addition to this game. 
So there's difficulties, right? Normal, hard. Uh, I don't know if there's a difficulty above hard, but I do know there is normal and hard right now. And what I'm doing is just throwing these hexes into the mix. So you'll get better loot, 5% more items you'll see, and 10% increased XP. And that is for all of them. And they are buffs for the monsters. So monsters move and attack faster. You can activate and deactivate them at any time. You see, I just push the X key, and that's it. Right now, there's only five. That may be the max. Don't quote me on that. But you'll see a challenge on the left here. It says, activate the required hexes. And what do we want? Hex of time. I'm going to leave the rest off for now. I've actually been playing with them on. I thought it was a nice... Normal was a little bit too easy, so I threw those hexes in and leveled a lot faster. It gave a lot more challenge to the game. They're just nice styles of different gameplay you can throw in there that, that make it a bit more difficult. All right, here we are, an unexplored map. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna just go right into the interface. I want to show you that it's a big part, so. Here we go, we have our standard weapons. There's different weapon types, and the weapon types is are going to determine what skills you have on your hotbar. So, like, there's not many attacks for each. There's your standard attack and then two special attacks for each weapon. But there's all different kinds of weapons. So that's one part. The next part is, is you can have two equipped at a time and just Hotkey, switch right in between them. So I can go from range to melee, I can go from melee to melee if I like the style of, let's say, a sickle or a hammer alongside with a sword. Switch back and forth on the fly, very easy. But I like to keep a melee and a ranged, um, because sometimes you're just, to get close in might be a little dangerous. So I'll just kind of sit back and blast them with my ranged weapon. So I have a lightning gun and a standard sword equipped right now. You then have potions, two spots for potions and grenades. There's all different kinds of grenades. They're very powerful. They're very fun to use. It's a giant AoE. I don't have any left right now, but you'll see I do have all kinds of potions ready. So, I mean, all different kinds of buffs. Some are health. You know, fill, instantly fills overdrive meter. I'll get into overdrive in a second. That's like your rage or mana. We'll look at it like that. And that powers these. So, your powers, you can have two at a time. There's all different kinds right here. All different styles. You can equip two. You'll see right now I have equipped a Sunray and a Shockwave. They're both rare, and there's you'll find multiples of each kind, different strengths for each kind, and you can just sell and pick up new ones as you go. That's what keeps you going, is... The loot in this is your powers, your weapons, your potions, your grenades. You're finding all this shit as you go, and that's what keeps you hunting. We all want that push to keep us loot hunting. That is an action RPG, isn't it? And then you have destiny cards, which are also loot. You find these, the rewards. You get rewards when you level up. You get sometimes rewards from completing tasks or challenges. And you basically can equip them to suit your playstyle. So there's all different kinds. I'm not going to get into each one, but you'll see here I have the tower equipped. Overdrive bar fills 50% faster. The Wicked Beast, I get a bit of armor pen with this extra... I love these extra little specialties some of the cards have. This is one of my favorites. Wicked, gain speed for 7 seconds on kill, 20 second cooldown. Plus 20% movement speed with an extra little buff there and 40% damage against enemies with health below 50%. So, you can stack these. I can give four cards of the beast all right here. You'll see I have four slots currently unlocked. I think I get another unlock at 30, and then that's a maximum of five slots. I do believe that is the max amount of Destiny cards you can have equipped at any given time. You'll see above there's Destiny points. So, these points go up at certain levels, and they coincide with the numbers on the cards. So, for example, I couldn't put four four-point cards in there because that total would be 16. I need to keep it below 14 right now. So, sometimes I actually haven't even 
been to the point where I, oh, have to take one out. You know, I'm kind of going over. I love these low-level cards. They are better than some of the high-end cards I've found. Like, you'll see I'm using a two-point beast card here. And this three-point beast card I'm not using because it doesn't have that fancy buff. So that's just a nice example of how the destiny points and cards work. Keeps you loot hunting, keeps you playing with your loadout. This is the character build bread and butter to this game. So it's it all has to do with what you find. That is how you build your character. You're not investing points, you're not increasing stats, it doesn't work like that. It's all about the items you find. And you'll also see that there's no, like, helm, gloves, amulets, rings. There's none of that, because it doesn't need it. It's got enough with these Destiny cards. And like I said, it is more action than RPG. The way you move, the way you fight, the way you dodge, the way you clear out levels, it's... I'm going to call it an action game with an action RPG twist. And on to our other tab, our hexes sitting here, and our outfits. So the outfits are a nice kind of extra option, let's call it. So you'll get new outfits as you go. They change your look completely. You can dye them. There's a transmutation NPC in the hub I forgot to show you, but basically you can mix it with dyes. You can mix these treasure chests together to create better treasure chests. And it's a lot like the transmutation feat on Diablo 2, if you played that, you may remember the Haraja Cube and what we used to do back in the day. So, basically, here's the outfits. I mean, uh, just a few examples right now. You actually, when you're starting the game, you choose your starting outfit. So I chose this one, which is just a basic gain 100% of the damage taken as overdrive, because it was a nice balance from what they were explaining in the tooltips in the start. So, I love this new one I have on. High armor increases maximum wolf drive by 2,000, but I'm decreased by 40%. Well, I made up for that down here with this overdrive bar fills 50% faster. So I'm 10% above normal. I'll take it. And that's pretty well it for the inventory. You have these special... You see it says share the key. You can just hit X, share it with the community who's you'll see these popping up all the time you can actually right click and redeem them you have bounties there's all different kinds from what I've seen so far but it's basically slay epic monsters in the following locations I haven't got too deep into that system yet but I'm assuming you're gonna get a giant reward for clearing these out especially because they're on a time frame you'll see at the top we have our standard health armor armor penetration, the damage of each weapon on top of each other, our crit ratings, and our crit damage. Alright, so you'll see. This is my lightning gun. Or my sword. We have our special attacks. Okay, with cooldowns. Different weapons have different times for cooldowns. I really don't like the lightning guns, but its main attack is pretty badass. And then, beside the health bar on the right side, there's a yellow meter that's going to build up there as I fight. That is your overdrive bar. Let's call it Rage. Um, and it basically, once you fill it up, you can start spending with the left and right trigger is where it's bound to on the controller. And that is your demonic powers, they call them. Let's... spells, basically. And then potions, of course. Map to our arrow keys on the Xbox controller. Oh my. Vampires. Don't worry. If they don't sparkle, you should be safe. I also love the spinning of the camera. That's another reason I'm loving this Xbox controller. And there's a huge codex that goes with it. Gives a lot of background into the monsters if the lore interests you. Which it can be found in here just by pushing the start button. Alright. Not going to get into it, but you get the idea. You then can jump into online. Your, it's, your character is for either online or offline. You can jump into either. 
You can return to the hub from here, you can restart an area if you've kind of botched a challenge. So, lots of different features. It's a lot of fun. Click your right joystick, brings up your map. That's a big map. And your challenges on the side. Wall jumps, which is awesome. As soon as I started doing this, I was... My first reaction was, what the fuck, in action RPG, I can jump? I was really excited, and then they had me jumping off walls. There's a nice spell I just used. There's dodging. That's one of my favorite spells right there. And as you're exploring maps, all you have to do is walk up to the locations that you'll see the doorways on the map in the top right corner are extra locations that will appear on your world map. Don't forget to touch them as you're uncovering them, because if you don't touch them, and by touching them I mean literally walking up and touching them, they won't show up on your world map when you return to the hub. So it's like, to discover them, you have to touch them. For me. On second thought, those vampires seem more formidable. And you have that voice. What does it remind Are you of? You, sure you played the adventures the challenge? of Van Helsing. They wouldn't want you to end up. You have like an NPC chirping in your ear the entire game. You have it in this too. It surprised the shit out of me. This game, I. I wasn't expecting anything great. I hadn't even heard anything about it, and then boom, it appeared on Steam. It was like a, what the fuck is this kind of moment, and picked it up for you guys, and here it is. I ended up loving it. I'm going to keep playing it. I am going to max out this character. You can't have multiple characters going at once. Why you would do that, I have not figured that out yet. The only thing I could put it to is if you have a shared account with someone, whether it's a uh, friend, roommate, girlfriend, wife, whatever. You know, want to roll their own character. Smell it. Something stinks. Maybe the conspiracy that you think surrounds Zagoravia. You don't even oh, know what that mind. voice is it's yet. It's only the sewer shaft over he there. He just keeps talking. I'm sure it'll play into the story eventually. Let's switch it up. Shotguns are fun. Here's the PvP arena. Glad I got to show you this. You just, you gotta invite your friends, it seems. And I'm not having any friends right now who are playing this. 
I'm actually going to go right back to the hub. I want to jump into another area just so you can get an idea of how different the areas can look. Like I said, any time, push that start key, go right back to the hub. Here's the transmutation gizmo. All right, so you can put your base item in that big slot and then anything you want to add into it in the bottom. Pretty straightforward. Right. A variety of different settings to play in. Tombs, grottos, all kinds of shit for your entertainment. And there it is, guys, Victor Vran, a great little action game. Lots of replayability here, lots of fun with your friends. I'm sure there'll be updates in the future. The dev seems quite dedicated to the fans so far. They kept everyone informed. I know this was an early access for a bit. People got to try it as it was being created, and the dev was very, very supportive of the community. So. It's a lot of fun. Try it out. You like action games, you like action RPGs, this one could be for you. Or just general loot hunting. That's it for today, guys. As always, you know I'm grateful and truly appreciative of your viewership. If there's something you want to see covered, just throw it anywhere in the comments below, and I'll do my absolute best to help you out. Thanks for watching. I'm Shizwack. All one word. Hit that subscribe button and follow me on Twitter. Have a great one, guys. Peace.